Good morning, everyone. Hello, it's a real pleasure to be here. My name is Doing Atewalogun. I'm based at the Queen Mary University of London, but I'm also a uh, consultant, um, broadly speaking, in the areas of leadership, diversity, and identity. And what I want to talk to you today about is one of the projects I've been, been involved in. Um, but before I go into it, I just want to kind of share a little metaphor with you. So some of you might have heard this before. But let's just imagine there's a couple of people in a room, and uh, more, more than a couple, there's about four people in the room, and the room is dark, and there's an object in the room, and they're trying to work out what this object is. So the first person kind of like, is kind of touching it, and it's like, um, you know what, this is quite, it's, it, it's long, it feels like a tube, this, it's a, this is a pipe, it's a pipe that's in the room with us. And then the second person's like, no, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong. It's kind of large, it's flappy, it's skinny. This is, this is a fan, it's a fan that's in the room with us. And then the third person's like, oh my goodness, you, guys, you people are all wrong. It is tall and hard and goes from the top to the bottom. This is a wall in front of us. And the last person says, I have no idea what you're talking about. You're all completely wrong. There is a wire type thing. It's long and it's skinny. This is certainly a rope, piece of rope. And then the lights go on and it's an elephant. <laughs> the person in front of the elephant grabbed its trunk, imagined a pipe. The person to the side of the elephant kind of felt its air, imagined a fan. The third person to the side, right up in the side, touching the side of the elephant, imagined a wall. And the last person right at the back of the elephant with its tail saw or imagined a rope. I think this metaphor very much reflects the work that we've been doing called the Middle Action Research Project. It reflects our dilemma. In the UK, one of the pieces of work I did for the UK government counted the number of people, directors of colour on UK boards. And despite the population of 14% in the UK, our uh, the, the directors of colour are 8% and only 1.4% of them are British born. So this issue around getting black, Asian and minority ethnic people, that's the expression we use in the UK, to the top of UK organisations is an issue. And the approach that we used or the uh, methodology that we used to understand this was a collaborative action research project. A collaborative action research project is a methodology that blends both research and practice, both reflection and action and theory, as well as kind of people's experience. And we reflected this in our research team our research team comprised a group of women who represent four or five different continents working, Middle East, Africa, North America, and Asia. We worked in a range of different contexts, academics and practitioners. We also represent a range of different fun functional expertise, um, occupational psychology, economics, consultancy, governance, diversity and inclusion. And it was very important for us to reflect a collaborative approach in terms of the groups that we worked with as well. We worked with over 60 participants who represent 36 blue chip companies, mostly headquartered in London. We worked with people around these businesses who were particularly interested in the answer, what does it take for black, Asian and minority ethnic people to make it to the top? What were our findings? We looked at four different groups. These are our stakeholder groups. In total, we had focus groups with, a, with, over, with about 36, with 36 people. And our key finding was that although on the face of it, all of these groups are targeting the same issue. 
there was insufficient strategic alignment, cohesion and coherence with regard to what their goals and intentions were. And it was even more than incoherence. Sometimes there was downright conflict and accusations within the same organization about what one particular strategic goal was vis-a-vis -a -vis other groups. So we found, just as an example, that the network leads felt particularly frustrated with the fact that they did not have visibility and access to more senior individuals in their organizations, and they didn't have data. So my last sentence is really to highlight <laughs> that identities and people's perspectives, people's vantage points in their organizations, as well as their professional identities and their social demographic identities contribute to helping understand what this animal is in a dark room and understanding those perspectives together is really critical for making a difference. Thank you very much. Thank you.